Hi everyone, it's Tiffany again. Um, first, I just want to apologize. Um, it took me a long time to make this second video, about a year. Um, I moved to Korea last year, so I needed a lot of time to settle and start my life here. Um, and then my camera broke, so yesterday I bought a new camera and um, now I can make these videos and I will, I will make them, I will make many more and I will make them much faster. So thank you for waiting, thank you for all your nice comments. Okay, that said, let's get started. In our last video, we talked about simple English vowels. Um, and you can review that if you need to hear it again. In this video, we will talk about complex English vowels. And what that means, what a complex vowel is, is um, two simple vowels said together. Okay, so you have two vowels, but you say them fast, you say them quickly, so it sounds like one vowel. Another name for this in um, English and linguistics is diphthong. Diphthong. Um, and English has, standard American English has five diphthongs. Um, so let's talk about those. The first one I want to tell you about is the diphthong O. O. Now, like I said, diphthongs have two simple vowels in them. So the diphthong O has two vowels. It has O and U. O and U. Um, when you put these vowels together, they change a little bit. So please listen carefully to my pronunciation and try to copy it. Okay? So, O, 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 O. So, some examples. The word boat. 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 The second one, rose, rose, rose. This diphthong starts more open, o, o, and gets smaller, o, o. Many non-native speakers of English do not say this diphthong the right way, especially I live in Korea now, and most Korean people do not say this diphthong right, um, even people with really, really good English. Uh, and I think this one diphthong will improve your pronunciation very, very much. So, for example, many people, instead of O, they just say O, O. But English doesn't have that sound alone. O, no. Bo. No, it sounds strange, okay? So be careful, say both vowels. Bo, bo, okay? All right, the second diphthong that we'll learn today is ow, ow. The two vowels in this diphthong, ah, like father, ah, and oo, oo, the same as the last one, right? The same as the second vowel in the last one. So, ow, ow, ow. Um, and again, this one goes from open to close, ow. And also, the ah sound, your lips are not rounded, ah, ah, ah. But in the uh sound, your lips are rounded, uh, uh. So, ah. Uh. Ow, ow. Two examples. Cow, cow. Down, down, down. Okay? Got it? The third diphthong is I, 
I. Okay, the first vowel in this diphthong is the same as the last one, a, ah, a, ah, like father. The second vowel, i, i. And again, when you put them together, they change a little bit, okay? So listen carefully. I, 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 I. Okay. Both these vowels are unrounded. Your lips are not rounded. So, I, I. Um. All right, examples. The word I, like I am going. I, I. The word light, light, light. Um. My accent, I'm from the state of Georgia. Um, do you know the city Atlanta? That's my hometown. Um, and I have a little bit of a Southern American accent. So this diphthong, I don't always say perfectly. I don't always say I, I. Sometimes I say, ah, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> but um, like I said in the last video, Many people have different pronunciations for these vowels, so it's okay if you're not always perfect. Um, just do your best and try to practice standard American English or standard British English, Australian, South African, your choice, right? Um, okay, two diphthongs left. The next one, A, A, okay? The first vowel in this diphthong is a, a, and we do not have this vowel alone in English. You will never hear a, a alone, um, only in this diphthong. The second one is i, again, i. So listen carefully, a, a, a. For example, same, same, day, day, day. All right, and the last one, my favorite diphthong, is oi, oi. Um, the first vowel is aw, aw, like autumn. Aw. And the second one, I. I, again. Listen carefully. Oi. 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 For example, boy. Boy. Toy. 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 All right. So, let's practice. I will say a word. Please tell me which diphthong. One, two, three, four, or five. Okay? All right. Your word is cake. Cake. Which diphthong? That's right. Number four. Cake. All right. Let's do another one. Your word is um, low. Low. Which diphthong? Yeah, number one. Low. Low. All right. So when now you know all of the English vowels. Good job. Um, when you want to practice, please look at an English text, look at a book. Every word is good practice. Find how to pronounce those words um, and find what vowels are in them. If you have more questions about the vowels, please, please leave a comment um, and I will answer them the best I can. Um, my next video, we will start talking about consonants. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. It's nice to see you again. Please leave me a comment. Please subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.